Hello and welcome to the Outpost RV. My name is Jeremy and today we're going to show you the Palomino HS3210. This camper is equipped for a one ton truck with an eight foot bed. This is Palomino's dry bath slide out truck camper model here. As we get started on the outside you'll notice we have the high gloss cool gray gel coated exterior fiberglass walls. We have the electric jacks. We have the remote that comes with it so you can run each jack up and down individually or with those center buttons, you can run them all at the same time. Down in the back here, you do have some built-in storage already, which is a great feature. As we move around, we have the slide room with the large awning off to the side here. As you can see, we have the white LED lights built into the awning for extra ambient lighting here. We're gonna have storage compartments underneath the dinette on this model. We have your outside speakers, deep tinted frameless windows there. This is going to be an access panel for your refrigerator, so no storage, just access for maintenance purposes. As we move around to this side, you'll notice that we have the large fiberglass cap here. It has the windshield up top there, so that will not open like a window, but it is more of a windshield, if you will. Down here in the very front, we are going to have your battery storage compartment. The camper is equipped with a 100 amp hour lithium battery and 400 watts of solar already mounted on the roof. Over here, we're gonna have another direct line to the battery. So if you wanna put a battery charger or extra solar, you could use that right here. This is simply a little holder for your power cord. If you unhook that, you can hang it right here and a 12 volt cutoff switch. So you can kill all 12 volt power to the battery when you're not using it. The camper does come with a double sided seven way male cord. It'll plug in here, it'll run all the way to the back of your truck and plug into the back of your truck to give you clearance lights as well. Over here on this side, we have your water fill station, city water up top, so that'll just pressurize your lines for you. We have your fresh water down below, so you can fill up your fresh water holding tank, turn on your water pump if you're boondocking and use that water. It is also a max series, so it is gonna be equipped with the 30 pound LP tank bottle. We have your outside shower with hot and cold water. It's a 30 amp unit, and it will come with a 25 foot detachable power cord as well. Cable satellite connections. We have a couple 110 outlets here. Furnace vents. This is a tankless water heater, so it is on demand. It is gas only, but it's only using gas when you're running hot water, so very efficient. Down below is where your dump station will be located. You can hook up your uh, sewer hose there to dump your gray and black tank. In the back here, you'll notice we have another power awning off to the back with the same ambient lighting built into the awning. The bumper is equipped with storage inside as well, perfect for sewer, hose, sewer hoses and water hoses. We are gonna have a porch light. It is prepped for a backup camera or an observation camera so you can see behind you the entire time while you're traveling. We have an oversized grab handle to help you in and out of the camper. Full-size entrance door. It is also equipped with a full-size screen door as well. And that'll conclude our outside walkthrough of the Palomino 3210. And now we'll take a look at the inside. As we take a look at the inside, you'll notice that the bathroom is located up towards the middle of the camper. We have the dinette in this model. And right down below here, we are gonna have lots of extra storage built in. You have that whole compartment. And then also on the right-hand side, you have fishing pole storage there. So another unique feature that Palomino has added. Right inside the entrance door, we're gonna have this storage compartment. That is the remote for your jacks right there. On the left-hand side is gonna be a switch for the lights. And as you can see, it's gonna have these white LED lights in the camper that will come on and off. There's also one up in the bed and on the opposite side in the kitchen area there. And it just really dresses up the camper here. We have your solar controller to the right of that, which is gonna show you how many volts your battery has, and then also a limiter for the battery. We have your on-demand water heater thermostat to the right. Up above that, we have your 110 outlet, your main control panel, so you can keep an eye on your tanks to see how full and empty they are. Turn your water pump on. This camper is equipped with 12 volt heating pads on your tanks. Turn your lights on and off and also run both of your power awnings in and out. As we move to the inside here, we'll take a look at the fridge over here in the slide room. 
The fridge is unique as well, where you can open it either on the left or the right hand side. This is a 12 volt refrigerator. So you can open the fridge this way and you can actually open the fridge up over here as well. It is a 12 volt fridge, which is why we have the solar and the 100 amp hour lithium battery included on the camper. And as you can see, it is the full length of the slide out here, huge fridge. Also in the slide out, we have this large window, booth style dinette that can turn into another sleeping area. There is storage located underneath each seat. And that is also what was accessible from the outside. You can also get to it from the inside here by lifting the cushions up. On the back wall, we're gonna have a storage rack over here. We have a 12 volt TV that is on a swivel mount bracket. So you can actually pull that out and swivel that right over to the dinette. Here's a look at the entrance door. There is a blind over the window, so you can actually open that up or keep it closed for privacy at nighttime. On the left-hand side, underneath the fire extinguisher, is going to be your slide-out switch. That'll simply run the slide room in and out for you there. Over here in the kitchen area, again, there's that LED light underneath the sink area. We have storage down below, lots of drawers all over the place. On the left-hand side, we are going to have your breakers and fuses. And on the right is going to be your furnace. More storage underneath the oven here. We do have your oven, three burner stove top. This is a solid surface countertop. So it is going to feel more like a Corian style. We have this extra rack on top of the sink here. A very large single bowl sink. We have the high rise faucet with the pull out sprayer as well. Couple kitchen windows here. Again, we're gonna have your TV connections right up top. This is a 12 volt TV. There are a couple other 12 volt charge ports there. We have your stereo, which is AM, FM, and Bluetooth compatible as well. More storage up top. We're gonna have your microwave over here to the right with your vent that will vent to the outside. Decorative backsplash. And then we're also gonna have more storage built onto the rear wall here with your thermostat right underneath it for the furnace. As we move up to the bathroom area, down at the bottom step there, we have your carbon monoxide detector. We also have the new step system going up into the bed. So you get a couple steps all the way up there. In the bathroom area here, up top, you'll notice we have this high-speed exhaust fan that has four different speeds with it. Lots of storage over here. Down below, we are going to have your toilet area. And again, this is Palomino's dry bath series here. So over in the corner, we are going to have your shower area. You'll notice that we have the shower curtains that come together up top here and a skylight up above. Over here on the opposite side, we're gonna have your medicine cabinet, your sink down below, and of course, more storage underneath that as well. This camper has a really nice flow to it, giving you the kitchen in the back, your dinette off to the side, and what feels like a completely separate bedroom area up front here. And we will go up front and take a look at that next. If you're familiar with the 2900 series, this is a Four Seasons camper. It is also going to have the same queen mattress. It is a true queen 60 by 80. We have that additional LED light up front here, really just dresses up the camper. We have that windshield to look out front. Up top, there are gonna be interior speakers all the way up here as well. And another Max Air vent fan. Off to the right-hand side, we're going to have the storage location. I will try to open these doors for you here. There is going to be hanging storage up top. And also this bottom door or panel will lift up and there is storage underneath that as, as well. You're going to have some foot locker storage over here to the right. 110 and 12 volt charge ports on both sides of the bed. 
storage up front there another window over here off to the other side and more storage as well lots of storage in this camper there is also going to be another tv mounted up here this is another 12 volt tv and i'll try to get a better angle at this for you we have another 12 volt tv up here with the connections off to the right and that is also on a swivel mount bracket so you can take that off and move that around as you see fit And this is the Palomino HS. Um, I apologize, I am drawing a blank on the model number. I believe the 3210. And again, this is their dry bath model here with the rear kitchen, large slide out area. And we'll just turn around here and get one more good view of the back kitchen area here. I appreciate you guys watching. If you have any questions, Feel free to contact myself or Henry at 866-338-9845. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day.